Here's an interesting score you don't see every day. Look at this. Someone threw away their whole knick-knack deal. I think it's one of those uh, old uh, printer press lettering storage units. I could be wrong. That someone's using for their knick-knacks and see this whole tray of stuff. I, I imagine this whole thing was filled up. And the whole thing was just thrown in there. Just just <laughs> just no regards for it whatsoever. That's pretty interesting stuff in there. And then also with it was this uh look at this cribbage board. Look at that thing. You wanna talk about a nice cribbage board? Look at that bad boy. Huh? Look at that. <laughs> and then there was this semi. I looked in there already. It's in there. It's all in one piece. Basically brand new. I didn't see any drill bit though. I'm going to take a closer look at that. And then like uh, some kind of little jewelry storage unit. No jewelry in it. A little canoe. Interesting. And this is... Actually this was a thing I saw that I... <laughs> that's the reason why I jumped in the dumpster. Because all I saw when I pulled up was a piece of brass because I got scrap metal on the brain. And uh, actually that might have been one of the knickknacks. What do you think? I bet it was. And then, uh, you know, I got, and then when I got in there I realized what I was dealing with. And then all these dolphin, all these dolphin things. That one's actually electric. I didn't see the AC adapter anywhere in there. So that's a bummer. But uh, actually, look at that. I didn't even see that in there when I was in there. I got a cell phone sitting there. <laughs> I didn't even see that thing. It just blended right in. I'm gonna jump back in there and get that. And then there's some more dolphin statues. That one actually looks like it. I saw its fin broken off in there. It must have broke when it hit the ground. Oh, it's broken here too. Oh well, but this one's here is made out of metal. There's nothing wrong with that one. That one's made out of, that one, it might be brass. I, I, I'd have to scratch it to know for sure. I don't think it's made out of tin. No, yeah, I think that's a brass statue. That's kind of neat. But there's some pretty neat little knickknacks in here. All kinds of stuff. And I don't see any of it that, that's broken. I, th I think being in this thing protected it. You know, and it was dropped flat. So I, I think almost all this is still good stuff. All kinds of neat little stuff in here. It looks like there's a lot of dolphin type stuff. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff besides dolphins, but anyway, thought you might want to see this one. And I've been out for just a little while, be bopping around, and I found that book actually the other day. I'm gonna donate to that to the library. It's only worth like four bucks, but it's got, you know, it's not in that great of shape, so it's not worth my time. So I'm just gonna donate that. And then I got some wire and some modems. They got rained on last night, so they're no good for sure. They're going to the scrapyard. And a couple packs of cheesy rice and vegetables. Perfectly good. Those are actually quite delicious. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that sticker. That that came from a food donation place and got thrown in the garbage. <laughs> well then, reality strikes again. That actually might be a working phone. That thing's, except for those scratches, I, I wiped the dirt off of it where it hit the bottom of the dumpster. Other than that, that thing's almost in perfect condition. <laughs> Actually, I didn't even try to turn it on yet. I'll go home and charge it and see what the deal is. That's a pretty nice looking phone. That's not your standard throwaway by any means. Well, I scored a uh, dog crate. It's in really good condition. It's bent just in a couple spots, but that's no big deal. That's nice. Yeah, at the store that might sell for, that might be like a $70 item. I'll show you why it's thrown away. And see, that, there, there's the uh, tray for it. I won't show that to you very long. That's just disgusting. Poor dog. 
But I'm gonna take this crate though. Those actually sell very easily. Check this out. Yeah, sound bar in there. Nice looking sound bar. Oh, it's broken. Oh. That's a monster cable. Surprisingly, finding working sound bars is 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 a fairly typical thing. Like that one above my desk. This one's been mauled on. Maybe a dog or a cat got to it or something. And then, I don't know. I don't know it's kind of weird. I usually don't see sound bars busted up like that. But, uh, I'll definitely take that scrap metal off of there. That's a nice little monster cable, look at it. Uh, and you know what, that's been messed up too. It looks like it's been dragged. Looks like it's been like, uh, dragged, no, some sort of small animal. That's, that's what exactly what that is. Some sort of small animal that's chewed on that. Maybe like a puppy, a little puppy dog. Maybe, I could be wrong. Anyway, oh well. Decent amount of scrap metal. Looks like we have some leaf blower action and a ceiling fan that would appear. Let's see what else we got down here. Ah. These bags are wet. I'm gonna take my glove off. Nothing worse than wet gloves. Oh. Looks like it's about it. It's not a bad looking dude. It's got gas in it. Let's see if it starts. A lot of times if there's gas in it, that means it's malfunctioned in some way. But that one looks pretty good though. I, I'm gonna hold on to that one for a bit. Oh, I'll take this one home. It might be worth, uh, worth something to someone just for parts or repair, you know. That's a pretty clean looking dude. That's about it. I'm going to take these aluminum pieces off here. It makes for a nice little handful of aluminum. That's close to two pounds, I'd imagine. That's, that's definitely over a pound. But, uh, you know, if you, if you clean those up like that, you want to ask your scrapyard what they buy those as. Because some scrapyards will buy them as clean aluminum, and some will buy them as aluminum breakage. And there's quite a bit of difference in the price. You know, it'd be worth to hang, hang on to these and take them to a scrapyard. It'll give you clean aluminum. Over here, we've got a little vacuum cleaner action. I already took the cord off of it. And a bicycle. And some other kind of weird looking deal. I don't know what that thing is that... That dark orange thing under the bike. I'm not sure I can't get a good look at it. Almost looks like a... It's kind of like a dolly shaped wheels. But I see uh, some sort of motor sticking out of it. And... It's got kind of like a snowblower type 
roundish cylinder on the bottom that's just a weird looking deal I, I can't see enough of it to see what that is but I think I'm just gonna grab that steering wheel column and that speaker and be done with it I, that's just too much trouble they're gonna just, this box is is full of wood pallets packing materials for that for that big tool cabinet and it's just got this other box on top of it and an entertain old entertainment center and a bicycle and i'd have to throw it all out here in the parking lot to get to it and i just gonna be the price of 10 anyways that that big whatever that dark orange thing is you know and it, it's only gonna probably weigh you know 50 pounds whatever it is times five cents so you know it's like two dollars three dollars at the most i just really don't want to waste the time right now dealing with that I, i'm on my way to the scrapyard and you know the, the amount of time i spend digging that out of there and loading it up and blah 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 you know i could very well go down the street and check you know 20 or 30 more dumpsters and wait and you know and make way more than two or three dollars so i'm kind of curious what that thing is though all right, I yanked that dude out of there. That's, that's gonna be a nice piece of aluminum brake. It's, it's heavy. It's got a piece of steel stuck to it, and you know that, that might be that might be 30 pounds or so. So yeah, that's that's a good deal. That 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 right there is worth worth more than whatever that orange thing was in there. So not too bad. Swiffers you buy at Walmart, extremely common. Here's how I clean these up a little bit, real quick. Just go like that, and there'll be a rubber hose on there. Just yank it off there like that. Throw that piece of junk back, and usually they're filthy and nasty, so that's a good spot for them. Just throw that back in the garbage, and then take this, like that. There'll be a couple wires in here, but they're real thin and pretty much worthless. I just yank them off there like that. And that big piece will go as aluminum breakage. And I'll take this handle like this, take it over here in this fork, fork hole for the for the garbage truck. That's where the garbage truck sticks their forks at and picks it up in the air. I'll stake that like that. And, well, this one was already broken, taped back together, so I didn't it didn't do what I wanted to do. But I think you got the idea. Throw that piece of plastic back in the garbage. And those wires right there are pretty much worthless. But I'll take them anyway. That's that. Got a little roadside springtime cleaning action going on here. Looks like someone's cleaning out their storage shed. And they put all this stuff on the curb out here. That's just mainly garbage. There's some nice pairs of shoes in there, but it's only one shoe. That seems to be just the left shoe and a right cleat no matching except for this little pair of nikes that's not a bad little pair of shoes they can be cleaned up there's they're not very old i'll put those on the curb somewhere out on a busy street those will get picked up in a matter of an hour got a couple rolls of packing tape out of there those uh, electric scooter and uh, look at that little motorcycle one of those little razor motorcycles little electric dude it's kind of cool, isn't it? I just got to take it to the scrapyard. Although it looks like it's in pretty good shape. <laughs> uh, it's nothing I'm going to mess with, though. But I'm sure somebody out there is going to probably say they want that. Well, whoa. And then I got a little folding table for my storage unit. Or folding table. <laughs> folding chair for my storage unit. <clears throat> and, uh... Well, that's not good. <laughs> These are actually really, really nice because you can just fold them up and stick them on the wall. And I, I have one just like it, except for the seats torn. You've probably seen it in past videos. So that's that's perfect. You know, when I need to like sit down and cut a bunch of plugs off the wire and down at my storage unit, I'll just slap that bad boy out. And they're actually really nice little chairs. So I'm happy with that score. That's a keeper. The rest of this stuff 
has gone. I, I, I didn't find this stuff here. It was a different place in a different dumpster. But uh, the rest of this stuff's going to the scrapyard right now. Except for the shoes, I put them on a the curve. Oh, and the tape. Tape's a keeper. Packing tape's always a bonus. Look at this case of shop towels I found off camera the other day. You look at that, you don't think it's much, you know, but this is actually one of my favorite things to find because, <laughs> see, like, there's a paper towel, a roll of paper towels I got there from a car detail shop. You know, that's good paper towels. Finding stuff like that, you know, I, I don't have to spend money on it, you know, and it's, and it's paper, you know, recyclables that was going to go to waste. Between that roll of towels and this case of towels, that could be a, very well be you know a year's supply or more, because there's a lot in there, you know. And that's just something I'll never have to buy. So it's just it's just a win-win all the way around. And you know, it's, you, you just don't think that's anything special, and it's really not. But you know, in the grand scheme of things, that's just something. You know, when I don't have to buy it, you know, it's just that's a case of towels that'll never have to be produced. And uh, it's just it's just a win-win all the way around on that stuff. <laughs> Got an interesting dumpster here. I already pulled out that end of that sledgehammer and a Black and Decker sander with the card cut off of it. And I I saw that I saw that yellow light over there underneath the bag, and I dug it out. And, when I dug it out, all this copper wire and copper pipe and everything came popping out. So I'm gonna jump in there real quick and yank it all out and show it to you. There it is. That turned out that turned out to be a nice little score. I just kept coming and coming. Nice, nice grip of steel. Some nice number one insulated copper. About a pound of copper pipe. Number two insulated and uh, a little bit of aluminum breakage that, that light will go as aluminum breakage too got some tin in there and uh, i guess a little bicycle pump i'm gonna check that home take that home and check it out if that works i'll just put that on my bicycle that's actually a nice little pump that's not too bad 